God said to Moses, this month, the month of Nisan, which is in the spring, mm -hmm. is to be the first day of the year for you. And God said to me, look, my year is not even over. So I was able to rest in this. Now, I couldn't come back in the pulpit and start preaching rapture again because everybody was heartbroken. But I do know for absolute sure, somebody more important than me said, when you see the nation of Israel rebirthed on the planet, absolute for sure, this is the last generation of mankind. Amen. And so as we're watching these things, if you don't believe me, know that, believe Jesus Christ, because he said this is the last generation. That's right. We're arguing too much about church, and we're not praying for what's going on. Because Christ is happy and joyful about marrying the church state. Yes. This still has to do. Listen, the earth is going to go through what it's going to go through. And believe me, what we're seeing now is a drop of water in the ocean of what they're going to see during the seven years of tribulation. Amen. So, from right now, we need to be praying for people. We need to be doing exactly what some of us are doing, calling people and saying, how are you doing in your walk? Right. Are you still living for Jesus? How are you doing? Can, can I come over and pray with you? Can, you know, we need to be encouraging others in Christ because this Jesus Christ, this death 2,000 years ago, this saving blood power, is more than a show. Yes. This is the history of all mankind. And the, and the book of Acts, uh, chapter 4, verse 12 says, there is no salvation in any other. No other name under heaven by where a man can be saved. Amen. So Jesus Christ is real and there's only one way for salvation and that's through Christ. Yes. There's only one salvation away from what these people are doing and this tribulation is coming other than Jesus Christ. There's no other uh, escape from it except for Jesus Christ. Amen. Us sitting in this room, we have found Christ. We have found Jesus Christ. We have found the escape and not only just the escape, the only escape in this world for people who need to escape from this beast that is about to be taken, take over this world. Let's go to Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6, verse 1. While John is in heaven and the church is in heaven, John sees a lamb open, begin to open seven seals. These seven seals represent the full seven years of the tribulation. Now, it says, I watched as the lamb opened the first of the seven seals. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say in a voice like thunder, go or come. And I looked and there before me was a white horse. Each rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out to conquer and for conquest. So, when this beast comes, he's going to come with a crown on his head, he's going to come with a white horse, he's going to come with a covenant in his hand, that's what the bow is, and he's coming to do what? To conquer and for conquest. He's going to bring all nations under his control. Amen. That's what they're doing right now. In, in, in uh, chapter, I think it's 16 of Revelation, it says the Antichrist at that time will be able to call fire out down from the sky in the view of all men. That'll be part of the deception. Yeah. Do you know that he can do that right now? Yeah. With heart, he can put a plasma fireball in the sky play with it, say move over there, move over here, and he can call it down and cause a fire on this earth right now. This is the weapon that they have in their hands right now. And 
we're thinking that, you know, well, Jesus is not coming for another thousand years, is what I heard one pastor say. If he does come in another thousand years, there'll be nobody left. <laughs> because this is serious. And the Lord has already said, look, I'm coming for my church. But we need to be ready for his coming. Amen. Is heart real? Man, get on your YouTube or whatever, or, or open a book, find out what this thing can do. It was created by a guy named Bernard Eastman, who sold the patent to a company called East Systems. Raytheon, which is owned by David Rockefeller, bought the, this patent from him. And then they built this project in Alaska. And since they built it, they, now, you heard on here, um, Chavez, he said, United States started the earthquake in Haiti. And everybody laughed at him when he said that. He said that last year, January, about three days after the earthquake. He said the United States started that earthquake with, their, with that earthquake machine they have up there in Alaska. Everybody thought, well, Chavez is the same guy that said, said uh, they said, uh, 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 Mr. Chavez, uh, did you say that uh, uh, George Bush is, is like the devil? And he said, no, I said George Bush is the devil. <laughs> and, and so everybody thinks he's just crazy American hater, but it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that he knew what was going on. So how do you kill 230,000 people with a man-made earthquake Wake up, still have coffee, and go about your day. Unless you're directly dealing with Satan. Right. You understand? This is why when they go up to Bohemian Grove every year, and many of you don't know about that, but let me tell you one thing for absolutely sure. That's where see, we haven't hidden anything from. Amen. At Bohemian Grove, every world leader goes up there every year to do a ceremony worshiping of an owl called the cremation of care. That means to get rid of the guilt, to get rid of the, the ability to have a conscience so that you can do what Satan has called them to do, which is to bring the world under one order and to do a population decrease of all the people on the earth. This is serious stuff. And we really think that Jesus Christ is about going to church and being a better person and, 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 and you know, having a, you know, who sings in the choir, are you going to be usher? This has nothing to do, church is a place that we come to encourage each other to live, to encourage each other to live for Jesus Christ. Amen. To encourage each other to hang in there, to yeah, stay in there. Yeah. I know you're not perfect, Jesus knew you weren't perfect That's when he right. called you. That's right. Nicole said it last week. Grace is a beautiful thing. Yes. If you were if you were getting to heaven on your performance, I tell you one thing: not a person sitting in here or standing in here would would make it into the kingdom. Amen. So we need some grace, right? Amen. But you accepted Jesus. You have some problems with your flesh, but you've accepted Jesus. Yes, and know what? You're not getting out of the race, and that's your determination. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's your determination. Yeah. I'm not getting out of the race. Amen. And Jesus Christ is, that's, is saying to you, that's all I'm looking for. Yes. When I call you, I know you were messed up. Yes. 